All right, so this next one is by Jamari. Obviously, the OG reporter type mug. You know, I watch him damn near every time I'm on YouTube. He's a cool guy, he seems to be. I fuck with his videos, so if this does cool, if it gets more than three views, I'll probably react to more. Because <laughs> I, I really do fuck with this dude's videos. But, um, yeah, it's Jamari. This one's called Intel Calls the Cops on Itself. Let's see what ridiculous shit this is. Let's go. So somebody sent me this video this morning. Apparently the subject is some sort of stalker. I don't know how many of you out there have had a stalker, but I can't um, imagine it would be a very fun epic. time. Always looking over your shoulder. Are they lurking around that corner? Are they going to be in that alleyway? I'm sure you just really start to question your personal safety. And apparently this stalker is so delusional that he actually called the police on himself because he thinks that his stalking is warranted. If that isn't the ultimate self-reverse Uno, I really don't know what is. The Cracker Barrel? And I Wait a minute. So this dude thought... If he called the cops on himself to let them know I thought, <laughs> beforehand that they would be like, oh, okay, okay. If this dude is white, privilege. He thought he had privilege. Because ain't no way somebody in their right mind would think, oh, let me call the cops and, and, uh, uh, ahead of time and be like, yeah, I'm stalking this woman. And, uh, just wanted to let you guys know ahead of time. To play a song for a woman that I kind of like. And, uh, I got there, and she saw me, and she immediately pulled away. And, uh, oh my God. I, I wasn't forcing her to listen or anything, you know. I just wanted to play the song for her, you know, give her her own choice. Nah, nah. <laughs> I'm not getting good vibes from this dude. Hey, look. Me. Concerned you know, you as know. well. Yeah, I worked with her there for like five, six months. Did y'all have a relationship? No, we yeah, had a relationship. A bit, but it never really got serious. So it sounds like this dude was working at Cracker Barrel. He liked one of his fellow co-workers, though she didn't share the same feelings. And so months after not being employed by Cracker Barrel, he's still showing up with his little guitar. I love you, bitch. I love you, bitch. <laughs> trying to play her song of love and serenade her ass, while her, on the other hand, is most likely creep the fuck out. Also, for shout real? out to this other cop for coming at the bathroom and immediately assessing the situation and seeing, uh, we got a creepy motherfucker. Yeah, that's hands. exactly what his face is. And I was in the other parking lot, and I saw her get in her car, and I, saw, I was like, oh, shoot. It's my moment, so I pulled up there next to her, and she pulled away from me, and uh, so I chased her a little bit, just because, I don't know, women are crazy. Hey, like, yo! <laughs> Why are you saying this shit to him? To them? This nigga's going to jail if he doesn't. This is... felt like she, like, wanted me to chase you her. You know how much crazy? Really? It's just like I, I only went like a couple blocks down the street. That's weird as fuck. Well, I had my song playing and I wanted to like her to hear it maybe. So, right? <laughs> so the guy behind the camera has to be one of the most down bad individuals down that bad. we've seen in a very long time. He was out here stalking her from some other parking lot. She's probably scared for her life, fidgeting with her keys, trying to make it down the highway. And he's over here talking about, oh, women love a good chase. Yeah, maybe when they're actually into you and you're playing a little bit hard to get. Not when you're the creep who won't leave her the fuck alone. Her father called me up and he made some threats to me and to my life. Why wouldn't he? So I just want to have his name on file. What did he say to you? Uh, I think he said he's gonna stab me. Like, <laughs> but he, he's like, sounds like a good father. He said, he says, I'm gonna do something to you. I swear, I do something to you. For chasing your daughter? Yeah, but it wasn't chasing. It was like going down a couple streets. Like, that's like fun to women. Like, women like that. They're a little bit excited. Hey, yo, got another fucking sneak go, bro. <laughs> yo, if they do not get this dude off the streets, at least for. Even a night to set his mind straight, bro. This is privilege, because what the fuck? He's pretty much admitting he's a weirdo, man. Well, 
if I was a father, I'd probably tell you the same thing. <laughs> what about like BDSM, <laughs> where women like to have fantasies? Well, what the fuck? Does. What are you well, talking about? Who knows? What most women do like having fantasies. What the do fuck? I don't know. This is why what I don't really you think believe about people you, when they Monica? say incel culture isn't real. This guy is sitting at home beating his meat to these absolutely disgusting adult videos. And then he goes out into the real world thinking that that's how actual women want to be treated. I mean, for him to even be bringing up these fantasies, you know that disgusting shit is already on his mind. I mean, even just in him saying that shit... I kind of see him as being a threat to the general public. I love how the two officers are just staring at him like, how guys. the fuck is this about to go down? They know they're dealing with a sick fuck. I know her name. I don't know his name. He called me from a restricted phone number. Yeah, the guy behind the camera is just absolutely delusional. Any father in his right mind would make threats to a man stalking his daughter. Exactly. All I'm saying is this guy is probably a couple more stalking incidents away from finding himself drowning at the bottom of a lake. I'm telling you, stay away from her because he will hurt you probably. She's being controlled by him. That's, that's fine, that's fine. That's, that's, that's her his choice. daughter, bro. I think she should go do... Okay, you need to leave. Yeah, this guy is just a uh, sick fucking general saying that type of bro, shit. He and no, she's not being brainwashed. She's not being controlled by her dad. I just don't no get how you can be so you, deluded in your brain that you can't see it. what you're doing and saying is just absolutely fucked. There's something twisted about that. There's something twisted about the way you think. <laughs> I, I'm just going to let her make her own choice after the song. Yeah, she's made her choice. Yeah, and I just don't think you, she had boy. a reasonable opportunity to make a choice because I'm going to blow up oh, and I'm going to be a famous I, DJ and I'm going to be like... Oh um, my God, this guy. Uh, two years older than me. 27. 27? This guy's 27 years old, still hanging on to some sort of rock star. I just watched uh, D Chanel's video where she's reacting to all these YouTube serial killers and I definitely feel like this nigga's about to be on that list. Cause what the hell are these answers, my boy? Like, no. Hype dream. He thinks he's gonna be the next Skrillex or some shit. Yeah, so even all the way down to the- <coughs> The next Skrillex. Shit. Oh shit. What? You know what? Lindsay's dad, I hope you see this fucking video. Seriously though, I have a feeling that this Bro. guy is about to go off on some incel joker type shit. You know what happens when women don't ever, you know? He watches a, little, a lot of, uh... Bad shit happens. This motherfucker is creeping me out. I don't know. Yo, they should have arrested him. Something, um, the cops want to deny me trying to get her to be straight something is wrong about that i don't see why to be straight ass motherfuckers think they can speak shit whenever it's this woke belligerent lgbt shit that has her so this mug is mad because she's a lesbian Okay, so now the caption actually makes sense. He thought he could stalk her straight. This woman that he's stalking clearly has a oh, preference for women. Okay. And since he doesn't believe in the people can actually be gay, like genuinely gay, he's gonna be the knight in shining armor to turn her straight. That's this fucked. weird motherfucker right here. I mean, talk about a sick and twisted individual. Don't get me wrong, in the mass media, the LGBT might have their little agenda they got going on, but I promise you, motherfuckers out here are really gay. They're really bisexual, <laughs> they're really all yeah. these things. And to think that it just doesn't exist or it's some sort of brainwashing just shows you how brainwashed this motherfucker actually is by incel I'm culture. Really, like, and her father is controlling the bullshit. Up to date on that red pill, blue pill thing. Uh, I just don't see it. I'm old on what side father. is what. But this He's nigga older than her father. Niggas, bro. I've lived this life. I've been the greatest. I've been down and I've been in about. I don't know. This man really just said he's been the greatest. Like he's on some Muhammad Ali type shit. To tell the truth to you, you've probably never been great at anything you've done. And that's how you found yourself in this very strange, fucked up predicament in life. Where you're stalking strange someone who's not only not interested in men, but clearly not interested in being with an incel like yourself. Fucking snakes, man. She was gonna lure me into a trap. She Whatever was gonna lure him into a trap, like if they're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, if I was a betting man, and I had to decide between the two people who was trying to lure who into a trap, you would definitely be at the top of my list. You know, play a song for her. Fuck your song. It's just how it is. Fucking wanna be at Sheeran-ass bitch. I feel like, uh, <laughs> I 
That was random. You're unlovable? Yeah, it's probably because you are, man. You are too far gone for my liking. You know, I know that they it, say people can... You know, it's really scary to hear niggas like this because they just give you know, and it's like everybody is so uh, dehumanized by like all these mass shootings and shit. And this nigga gives me a lot of mass shooting vibes. He's a spoiled bitch who thinks he, just because he can't get what he wants, he's gonna destroy other people's lives. And that's the vibe I'm getting. And I don't fuck with that. This nigga's a bitch. But I feel like it's only like within reason and just based off some of the sick shit that he was saying and the way he sees the world This guy is long gone. Don't think that there's not thousands upon thousands of other young frustrated men out there like this I mean, I won't lie. This might be the creepiest motherfucker I've ever covered on my channel period At least Skippy Stop was always kind of on some innocent creep shit This would be like the dark side of Skippy right yeah. here if any of you have some stalking I mean, stories, Skippy's comment them down weird, below. I pray I for the woman that, that he was talking about in this video, because I can't imagine always having to think in the back of my mind that this creepy motherfucker might be lurking around. But as always, I do want to thank you guys for dropping a like on today's video, sharing and Drop subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman, and all the creeps and freaks out here need to be covered, so I'm out. Peace! Peace. No, that's, that's really crazy. And it's damn near mind blowing because it's like, how can people, like, they have no shame. They have no sense of awareness to an extent of certain things. And that's scary as fuck. That's scary. Anyways, I'm out this whole, this is my uh, last and third video I have done today, so. I'll probably make another one. I'm off until like next week, but uh, off of work. So I'll probably make a couple more, but I'm going to post the ones I made today on my um, Twitter. So go make sure to follow my Twitter. I will put that in the description as well. Um, yeah, please watch out for mugs like this. And if you have a stalker. Please don't take it lightly, because that's when shit fucks up. So if you start seeing signs, if they give you at least three signs that shit is fucked up, don't knock your, uh, what's it called? Your instinct, your intuition, whatever the fuck the word is. But yeah, everybody have a great day. God bless you all. And, uh, Amen.